What's up, Gemini? Quick read for you. Gemini, your prayers are being answered, baby. Your prayers are being answered, and your ex is mad. Oh, he's mad because your prayers isn't being answered. But he's not saying nothing. He's in reverse. He ain't saying nothing. He can't say nothing. What can he say? Nothing. He can't say nothing. He's just looking at your prayers being answered and mad. Okay? This person could be trying to trying to message you right now, but you're ignoring their message, or there's a message of concern concerning your stability. Um, someone could be your ex could be keeping a message from you because they don't want you to move. They they see that you're gonna have joy and stability, and they're being false as your heart your heart energy, and you know they're being false. But you've already crossed that bridge and you're looking at the bridge. You know that this person don't want you to, to change, but that's behind you. So this person is trying to make you feel anchored down when they seen you wanted to go places. Um, some of you saved your money to be able to go on a trip. You wanted them to go on a trip with you, but they didn't or they didn't take you on a trip. Now they're concerned because you left or you're leaving where they was trying to keep you trapped, tried to keep you stuck, but they couldn't. Some of them even tried to use a child to keep you stuck. Some of them even tried to, to act like they were sick to, to keep you to stay. Mm -hmm. But you're no longer wasting your time on this person. And some of you could have found out that they had someone pregnant. Or some of you could be pregnant and you're sick while you're pregnant. Someone could have caught COVID while they're pregnant. This person could have a child with someone else. And they made some sort of unwise decision. And the unwise decision was for them to try to steal from you. They tried to steal something and they didn't get away with it. They was trying to be a sneaky fox. And Spirit is right here. Spirit has done their research on this person. Okay. They seen that, that they were trying to keep you trapped. So they didn't allow this person to keep you trapped. They seen that this person was trying to be sneaky and get away with something. And they served this person with some sort of papers. Or this person could be trying to secretly do something to this privileged lady. To keep her from going somewhere. Okay. Trying to steal from her. But the universe is right here. They're, they're allowing this to happen. But this person is going to get it. They are. They're not getting away with nothing. What low key? A bond, a tie, a uh, red ribbon, a bond, magic, spell work to keep you seeing from them stealing. And you seen it and you left. No more of you going on, on this merry-go-round with this person. No more. No more of you putting no toil and labor in this relationship and the universe is happy that you're not. No more because you realize this person broke your heart and they didn't love you. It was just trying to bond themselves to you. Now you're out talking with your friends or it could have been gossip going on. Birds of a feather flock together. You left all of that. Yeah, it was gossip and you left. This person refused to make a choice when it came to you, so you left. This person brought all sorts of chaos and conflict into your life, so you left. You realized by all the chaos and conflict they was bringing you, you wouldn't have a happy home with them. Mm -mm. This person didn't even have a job either. Secretly, they was lying. They told you I had a job, but they did. They was leaving, and they wasn't going to work. 
Some of you even told this person you gave them an ultimatum to get a job, and they did. So you left. Mm -hmm. Now people is gossiping about it that you left. Hey. Okay, sorry about that, Jemai. So yeah, there's a bond. Um, we had a bond with some party, somebody and you left because you realized this person didn't love you. Mm -hmm. You left. You realized this person was a snake. That they had multiple partners and they kept doing it over and over again. So you left. Mm -hmm. This person could have been doing magic on you too. It don't have to mean they're doing, doing uh, candle work, candle magic. They could be manifesting your speaking things, throwing evil eye at you. Um, and you held this person in high honor. And they could have shot you down and you left. Mm -hmm. This person would wanted to take you in poverty. Or you left because you realized that all the temptation that they had, all the temptation, you know, the sex they was doing brought them in poverty. You shot them down and you put them in poverty. Okay. For some of you, here's a mature woman for you fellas. You held this older woman in high honor, but this woman was nothing but blockages and obstacles. Some of you married her. She was older than you, probably like five or six older than you. Five or six years older and you married her. Okay. And you just don't have the strength to deal with her no more. Some of you, you could have brought this woman in from out of, out of poverty, or she could have brought you in. Take it how it resonated. It could be a mature woman who's acting immature right now, and you held this person in honor, but right now they're, they shot you down. Tell me more about this snake energy. What is this snake energy? What is the snake energy? They were trying to use you. This is a rat and a snake. Somebody was trying to use you and they were cheating. They had multiple partners and the people they was cheating with, they had them trying to use you too. They apologized to you for being a rat because you were in a relationship with this person. This person gambled and took a lot of risks. Some of you took a risk and married this person. And right now you're in a relationship with them and you could have cut it off with them, or they could have been saying some harsh, cutting words towards you. Um, they could have quickly hurt you, cut it off. Um, some of you could have quickly divorced this person. Now this man is sitting at home, and he wants to apologize. The center of the, the heart of this energy is the courtship, an apology. Someone has too much pride or ego to apologize. There's, there's a gambling energy. This person is not your main male. You may have someone else. This is going on currently right here where someone is trying to cut a marriage, cut a marriage off. Or you cut somebody off. Okay. What else, Spirit? Well, this is a quick reading, huh, Gemini? You're coming out of this spiritual prison. Someone could be getting out of physical prison. Someone could have had you in a mental prison. Someone, you just got out of a mental prison and they're trying to figure out a way to how to put you back. It's an Aquarius. This person is older than you. They could travel the world. They could read a lot of books. They're unofficial. They could have been in the military. They may be just getting out or this person could have been um, officially married to you and they're not acting like it. This person is upset because you're not in despair after you got out of this mental prison. <clears throat> they, you may be getting a message from this person, from this older man. But it's something sneaky going with going on whatever message or letter you got coming. They're probably gonna try to give you some sort of money or something. No one in the community is talking to this person. No one in the community takes this person as serious. They're not official. They're false. This was a quick reading, Gemini. You didn't expect this. Sudden wealth in reverse. Something didn't end. You realize you weren't the main female. Something didn't end. 
a marriage didn't end. You left the home, but the marriage didn't end. Some of you move, you move back. Oh, damn! As soon as you left, that motherfucking ex came back. Wow, <laughs> she desperate. <laughs> She came back and the unexpected is income is under her. She money hungry. All right, Gemini. So I'm going to stop it right there because I'm cooking me a hot meal. All right, peace.